Get him high! How was your weekend? Good? Great! Let's recap a little, shall we? A quick announcement. Next Monday is Staff Development Day, so there will be no school. Try to remember, so we don't have zombie-like students walking around when you don't need to be. Now, Thursday was our swim meet, and we got first place! Good job, you guys! I knew you'd do better once that jello was all gone and cleaned out. The pool looks amazing, and thankfully not blue. It would have been horrible if our brand new pool got stained. Though, I guess no one would really notice. I mean, water shows up as blue in the pool. It would just seem bluer to the naked eye. Now don't forget, this Sunday is our third track meet of the season. I hope you've been training extra hard, you guys. I know you can kick off that rust and get it to first place. We can do it, you guys! Starts at 2, here at our field. Please remember to bring blankets, pillows, and if necessary, umbrellas. Even though it's supposed to be cloudy that day. But then again, it was supposed to be cloudy last Sunday, and it was sunnier than ever. So just in case, umbrellas. Thank you. Now, I know it's getting even closer. That time where the weather is perfect, the scents of fruits and flowers are in the air, and the breeze that carries it is just perfect. You want to run, throwing your backpacks and papers to the wind and rolling down that grassy hill. That special time of year. Spring break! Spring break is in three weeks this year, but you gotta be strong till then. Why? Because before spring break hits, spring fever hits, and it hits hard. So don't let those minds wander into total daydream area. It's dangerous. It may seem innocent enough, but before you know it, you're a drooling mess with all that wonderful knowledge oozing out of your ears. Don't let the temptation get to you. I mean, you don't want to be the one snapping out of a daydream and find yourself biting onto someone. Or flirting with a teacher or staff member. It's awkward enough catching yourself flirting with a friend or your crush, but a staff member or teacher? Yeah... Nobody is going to let you forget that. Trust me, I've seen students getting messed with because they've been in daydream mode and all of a sudden, they're flirting with the principal. It's rather hilarious to see. Especially this one year, one of the seniors did this with the principal's husband right there. Oh my god, you guys. The look on that student's face when he realized it? <gasps> Priceless! All the color left his face. Luckily, the principal was nice enough to explain about the spring fever going around. And luckily for the student, her husband let him go with a warning. Yeah, my uncle can be rather scary. <laughs> now... As a reminder, teachers, please start turning in your Student of the Month picks so we don't have to worry about it during Staff Development Day next week. You do have till next Friday to turn it in, but if you already have your pick, please go ahead and turn it in now before you forget and Spring Fever has hit you. Yes, students, Spring Fever can even hit us adults. Certainly does to me some years. Thank you. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. My newest segment. Even though it's late in the year, it's not too late to bring you guys some more fun into your mornings. 
like my new flying eraser segment. Now, last week, it hit me on the head. Well, during last week, it knocked a student down in the theater during third period. So we know it goes in the theater as well as here. So that's two areas so far. Let me know if you guys see it somewhere or if you get hit by it. Especially if you get hit. Principal McCann says if students are getting hurt by it, we'll have to try and catch it. Not to hurt it, just to try and de-chant the darn thing. Kinda hope we don't. Catch it, I mean. I mean, trying would be fun, but to catch it just to de-chant it? That's no fun. Let the eraser fly free. Now it's time for the lost and found. Wow, you guys. Three weeks in a row. Good job, you guys, for not losing your stuff. Keep it up. Then again, as happy as I am that you guys are doing better and being more responsible, if this keeps up, I may not need this segment anymore. Hmm, such a hard dilemma. But we'll see. Just don't lose your stuff on purpose just so I still have this segment. That's how someone else finds it and decides, Nah, I'm not going to turn it in. Then you lose out on your stuff and have to buy another. No point in risking it for this. So keep on being responsible, you guys. Now on today's lunch special. The Tears of Salty Students? <laughs> oh my gods, I can't believe I missed that. Dang it, Mercutio. I told you to stop naming the meals like this. Don't worry, students. The special is fried potatoes with any toppings you want. And a fruit cup. Then you have your basics. So let's end today's announcements with a thoughtful quote. Enjoy the little things. For one day you may look back and realize they were the big things. That is very true. When I look back and think about the simpler and yet chaotic times of my youth, I realize that the small things like being able to hang out with your friends, having lunch together, seeing your dad try very hard to cook and almost burning the stove again, his general's coming over when Principal McAdam is visiting my dad, and one of them trying to flirt with her and my dad burns his ass for it. Yeah, days like that I do miss. And in 10, 15 years, you'll look back at this place and feel the same way. My name is Lexis Amelia DeVolo, and see you in two weeks! Hey you guys, Cat McAdam here. Yes, it's true, there will be no podcast next Monday. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's announcements. If you did, hit that like button. Want to hear more? Want to see videos of book reviews? Or if you like seeing art being live streamed? then hit the subscribe button. Want to be informed when these come out or when I do my live streams? Then hit the bell and make it ring because school is in session. Catch you later students.